The next programme this morning is going to work in one minute. Now going to work at the local college. For those leaving school with no job to go to and no exam success behind them, there can be another chance. There are 500 or so colleges of further education throughout the country. Here at Herefordshire Technical College, nearly 6,000 students, full-time and part-time, travel in from the surrounding areas to continue their education. For some, it's been over an hour's journey to get to their local college. College is different from school in lots of ways. There aren't so many rules and regulations, but then the students are usually here to follow the courses they've chosen. But it's up to them to get to the right lesson at the right time, and it's a long eight-hour day's work. For many years, local colleges have specialised in training young people in trade skills, like bricklaying, to qualify them to get a job in that trade. And the teachers all have practical experience of the subject they're teaching. Just imagine a man also about three foot deep. Any liquids coming through and there's a blockage. If there's holes in there or in here, it'll all travel through. If you've got acids or blood or things like that, it will travel through and it will contaminate the soil. So get a small portion on the troweler and bring it with your hand up over. All right, because you've got that awkward portion. Well, that's right, nice and steady. That's a good lad. That's it. Make doubly sure down in there again. All right, so that's the weak portion of the drain. Leave it rough. That's it. Good lad, right. But now, colleges offer several hundred courses, some teaching job skills, some aiming at passing exams, and some designed for students who haven't decided what they want to do. This afternoon we're going to do a lesson on making a telephone call. Could you look up the first one and find the number in one of the directories, please? This is the City and Guild's vocational preparation course preparing students for the world of work, how to solve practical problems, how to make decisions, and how to communicate with people, like using the phone. Good afternoon, this is Chad of Hereford here. Good afternoon. Could I speak to the manager, please? I'm very sorry, but Mr. Weston is not in at the moment. Can I take a message? Recently, I purchased a 24-piece dinner service. It arrives... I make it Norris Philip and Sons. What's the address of yours? 21. Wide Marsh Street, Hereford. Yeah. So it's about a 24 piece dinner service which is partly broken. Yeah. Okay, then I will give them the message as soon as possible. Okay, thank you. Thanks very much. Bye bye. Bye. Also, part of the same course, sometimes called the City and Guilds 365, is a range of practical classes like basic office skills. More practical work. Open the knees. Open the knees, 
There are no formal qualifications for this course, and like all full-time courses, nearly all local authorities pay the college fees for students under 18. <laughs> Hairdressing is another element in this course. Working together like this helps to develop confidence in other people and oneself. And with everybody having a go at everything, some surprising talents are revealed. These foundation students may not choose to become bricklayers or hairdressers, but they will have developed a range of skills which must be helpful to them when they set out to get a job. Jenny, fresh for you. At the end of the course, students get a record of achievement which shows how they've done in each part of the course. And there's a certificate which lists the skills that they've learned. I'd like to refresh the three different types of possible shop layouts. Another course requiring few, if any, academic qualifications is the BTEC General in Business Studies, run by the Business and Technician Education Council. A slightly more modern approach, which is self-selection, where customers can pick up items... The BTEC General course is for students who want to work in businesses, offices, warehouses or shops. Here they're doing the retail distribution option, learning about shops. Can anybody give me an example now of self-selection shops? Oakley, Boots, Alfred's, Marks and Spencer's, Littlewoods, Little in fact a lot of the variety chain stores, aren't they? Can you give me a they also learn how to express themselves, to make a sales pitch for the things they've made. We have handcrafted earrings made by the fellow students and they're made in different variety. Some are chunky for casual wear during the day and others are more elegant for evening dress. Room sweeteners, they're called, and they're preferably for the home. You could put them inside a wardrobe or anywhere, and they smell nice, and they've got little, little lavender packs. Uh, 20 pet product. Operating a computer is also part of the course. Okay, very commas. The class actually sells the things they've made to staff and students in the college to see how a business really works. Money changes hands and profits are made. Um, good morning everyone, thank you for coming. Um, firstly we're going to have a run through of the meeting. The weekly board meeting discusses how the business is doing. The shares were printed last week and now on sale if anyone would like to buy any. We've got 25 shares left to sell now. If anyone wants to buy any we need to sell them urgently to raise more cash. We've decided on the prices of the room sweeteners. The small ones are 150 and the large ones are 160. In the past week, we've spent £13.98 on earrings, £2.28 on pins for the earring display board, and 59 pence on wool. One day a week, the BTEC general students go out to do some real work in shops in the town. And in the end, there's a certificate or diploma which may help to get a job or lead on to studying for even better qualifications. Many young people who've not done too well at school find they can develop their creative skills in art and design, as well as pick up exams that they missed at school. Well, first of all, we had to do a, a picture of patterned objects on a patterned background and then transform it into a collage using different materials.
Why did Teresa decide to come on this preparatory art and design course? Um, because I'm interested in art and I fancy a career in it, really. <clears throat> yeah, that's it really. I didn't really want to do anything else. Just art, really. And what about Alistair? Well, I'm just um, drawing down these objects that are in front of you. And um, it's a good opportunity to get a few more O-levels and um, to improve my drawing, really. So weigh your sample carefully. If you haven't got your sheet... However you. practical the course, there's still classroom work, as in this general catering course. Uh, keep the dough in your hand. Uh, put your hand into the water with the dough and start kneading it just as you would if you were squeezing some bread dough as normal. Um, keep going until the water turns milky to a milky white colour, which is the starch coming out of the dough. Then tip that water away. Here, the students the learn about the scientific properties of bread dough, the better to understand how to bake bread. The next thing we do is to add our shallots. Then we add our scampi, using our service spoon and fork, now the scampi doesn't take long to cook, about a minute on each side. After a change of clothes, the Turn catering the students learn the mysteries of restaurant service. On to the other side. We can add a little bit more seasoning uh, while it's cooking through. Well, one of the dishes we've got, fillet de la brevel. Poached fish dish. How is it finished? We have tomatoes, mushrooms. In the college kitchens, the students watch their expert tutor. Right, let's fillet the fish, shall we? And we run the knife, the filleting knife, down the fish's backbone. Follow the little white, the little fish coloured line down there. Lift the fish off the top end, leaving the knife nice and flat, and off it comes. One fillet of fish. Nice, clean cut. The students now have four hours to prepare a full evening meal for 40 people. Get it nice and square, the knife. Now, just hold the knife in there, like that, and thump it there with your hand. Close your fist up, then bang it. That's it, and the back of this end. Now go. Go on, saw, saw. What is it? Open it up. Ah, it's a bit Now that's the tooth outline. The part that shows above the gum is called the crown. That's right. So let's put in some gum. This course okay. is for students who hope to get it's caring jobs, like looking after old folk, the handicapped, or children. We don't allow a gap because bacteria would go down and perhaps damage the root. We have a very As part of this pre-nursing course, students can study for examinations which could qualify them to do proper nursing training when they're 18. And the periodontal sling, a whole lot of fibres, then outside that crisscross into the bone. This course also has the students going out to get work experience. In his second year of the advanced pre-nursing course is Anthony. We come to places like this, play groups, so we gain experience with working with different kinds of people. It's going to fall over in a minute. Like we've been to, to work with mentally handicapped. Now what do you want? Come and sit by me and tell me what it does. Like what? <coughs> been already to a hospital for a week, the general hospital, and watch dressings, things like that. Do you do this all the time, yeah? Sometimes. Sometimes. Do you like doing this? If you want to do something, you've got to do it. Like, nobody can put you off something if you really want to do it.
In the college workshops, this is the one-year full-time motor vehicle engineering foundation course, leading to a City and Guild certificate. And this is Jessica, who's aiming to be a qualified mechanic and heavy goods vehicle driver. Okay. We do a lot of practical on the engines and the bodywork. We do welding, machine shop theory, and then we do uh, science, electrics, English, maths. I was out of work for six months, yeah. And my dad said to me one day, just come down the garage. And I went and I enjoyed it and I've been ever since. Everything going all right? Yeah. 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 I think there was one bolt that was probably rounded a little bit, wasn't there? Yeah, it was yeah. this one, You've yeah. managed it all right? Yeah. yeah. Just slide it back a little bit. That's it. should be OK. Lower it right down and be out of your way. Then it won't slide. Bump you on the head. Here, the painting and decorating course of doing up an old house near the college, using the proper professional skills. Oh, you're getting acid. See how I That's right, you can just keep, keep, it, keep it going across as you are now, and then lay it off nicely. Yeah. So it's a nice even coat. It doesn't matter this stage whether it covers the one coat necessarily, um, as long as you've got a nice and even, nice brushwork, and you're away there. Okay. All right? Yeah. OK. So see how you're getting up. Come back. That's it. No, yeah. Um, Try and get it a bit more into the corner there, see? Uh, yeah. Use your brush sideways like that, and then you can get right up into the corner. That fills it then. You've got a nice clean line you can work it into. All right? In the college bakery, bread making and flour confectionery course. OK, you've got two. That's two over three. No, that's two over four. That's two over three. They are. Now four over two. That's two. Now then you're one over three. That's right. Lay it down there. And then you're four over your two. Same sequence again. Two over your three. No, that's one, isn't it? Right to the very end, as tight as you can get it. That's right over. And then you want it onto your tray. That's it. Just like in the real bakery jobs these students hope to go on to, they're working to a deadline to get the bread ready on time. Because the bread and cakes they make are sold at the end of the day. More money-changing hands and more experience of what real work will be like for the students. Thank you very much. In fact, the bakery department is having a proper shop built in the college foyer by the senior students from the building department. Nice yeah. That's space there. And what you have to do now is to dress, dress the top off so that's, that's quite square. You can see a little space there. So that has to be made straight. Unlike the others, this course can only be found here at Hereford College. It's the only course for apprentice blacksmiths and farriers in the country. Most local colleges have a course which is unique to them, usually based on a local industry. Back in the college restaurant, dinner is served. Kitchen, four covers, two consomme, yes. two chicken, yes. four veg. Don't turn them over. Presentation side like that. Yes. 
Salt butter sauce, please, on the savoury. Sarah? What better training can there be than doing something for real paying customers? Although the local college courses we've shown need no formal qualifications, they teach a range of practical skills that should help students to get jobs and develop their personalities.